Greetings beloved brothers and sisters in Christ. Today, we stand witness to a terrifying event that has shaken the very ground beneath our feet. This is no doubt a sign from the Almighty that the end times are upon us. A monstrous chasm has opened up in the heart of America. The scene was one of unimaginable terror and chaos. In the heart of America, a peaceful park turned into a landscape of destruction in an instant. Witnesses reported feeling a strange vibration in the air moments before the ground began to tremble violently. Birds took to the sky in a frenzy, sensing the impending doom long before humans could perceive it. As the ground shook, an unearthly sound akin to a deep, resonating groan emanated from beneath the surface. The earth seemed to writhe in agony, as if reacting to an invisible force. Suddenly, with a deafening roar, the ground split open, revealing a vast, yawning chasm that devoured everything in its path. This was no ordinary sinkhole, it was a monstrous abyss, a terrifying gateway to the unknown. Trees once standing tall and proud were uprooted and swallowed whole by the voracious maw. Park benches, lamp posts, and pathways were engulfed without a trace. The earth continued to tremble as the chasm widened, consuming an area that stretched for hundreds of feet. The sheer power and scale of the event left onlookers paralyzed with fear, unable to comprehend the magnitude of what they were witnessing. Eyewitnesses described the event in biblical terms, likening it to the opening of the ground in the days of Korah's rebellion in Numbers 16 33 They spoke of the air becoming thick with an oppressive presence, and many felt an overwhelming sense of dread and foreboding. It was as if the earth was crying out, one witness recounted a desperate, sorrowful wail that echoed through the park. The sky above darkened ominously, casting an eerie shadow over the scene. Clouds gathered swiftly, forming unnatural patterns as if responding to the turmoil below. Some witnesses claimed to see fleeting spectral figures moving within the shadows. Emergency responders arrived quickly, but even their seasoned hearts were gripped with fear as they approached the edge of the abyss. The chasm seemed to pulse with a life of its own, emanating a cold, malevolent energy. Rescue efforts were hampered by the unstable ground, and the air was thick with dust and the acrid scent of disturbed earth. As we reflect on the terrifying abyss that opened in America, we must turn to the Holy Scriptures for understanding. The Bible is replete with warnings and signs of the end times, and what we have witnessed is a clear manifestation of these prophecies. In Luke 21 verse 11, Jesus himself foretold, there will be great earthquakes, famines, and pestilences in various places, and fearful events and great signs from heaven. This monstrous chasm is undoubtedly one of those fearful events. Throughout the Bible, the earth opening up is a recurring motif signifying divine judgment and a call to repentance. Remember the story of Korah's rebellion in Numbers 16 31-33, where the ground opened and swallowed the rebels alive as a direct act of God's wrath. The American abyss echoes this ancient judgment, reminding us that God's power and justice are as real today as they were in biblical times. Consider also the words of the prophet Isaiah in Isaiah 24 verses 19-20, The earth is utterly broken, the earth is split apart, the earth is violently shaken. The earth staggers like a drunken man, it sways like a hut, its transgression lies heavy upon it, and it falls and will not rise again. Again, the earth in America has indeed been violently shaken, and this is but a prelude to the greater tribulations prophesied to come. Our blessed mother, the Virgin Mary, has appeared in numerous apparitions warning us of the end times. At Fatima, she spoke of great chastisements if humanity did not turn back to God. Similarly, in Medjugorje, Our Lady has continuously urged for prayer, fasting, and conversion. The opening of this chasm is a direct call to heed these warnings with utmost urgency. Scientists often attribute the formation of such chasms to natural processes like underground erosion, the dissolution of limestone by groundwater, and the shifting of tectonic plates. They provide explanations involving geology and hydrology, attempting to rationalize what we have witnessed. 
But let us pause and reflect, is it merely a coincidence that these terrifying abysses are appearing more frequently around the world? The scientific community struggles to fully understand the increase in these traumatic events. While they speak of natural causes, they cannot deny the escalating frequency and severity. Some scientists might suggest that climate change and human activities are accelerating the formation of these chasms. However, this perspective overlooks a crucial truth, God is sovereign over all creation. He can and does use natural phenomena to communicate with us. The increase in these events aligns with the biblical prophecies of the end times, proving their divine origin. God is using the natural world to fulfill his divine plan, shaking the very foundations of the earth as a warning to humanity in these harrowing times. Dear brothers and sisters, we must turn to the divine for protection and guidance. The terrifying abyss in Illinois is a clear sign from God that we are in the end times, and we must be spiritually prepared. Our faith is our strongest shield against the impending tribulations. First and foremost, holy water is a powerful sacramental that can safeguard your home and loved ones. Bless your home by sprinkling holy water on your doorways and windows, invoking God's protection. Keep a vial of holy water with you at all times for personal protection. Anointing with holy oil is another vital practice. Use blessed oil to anoint your forehead, hands, and the doorposts of your home. This act of consecration invokes God's blessings and protection upon you and your household. Is anyone among you sick? Let them call the elders of the church to pray over them and anoint them with oil in the name of the Lord, as James 5 verse 14 instructs us. This sacramental act is a shield against the spiritual and physical dangers of the end times. Regular prayer is essential. Pray the rosary daily, invoking the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Our Lady of Fatima emphasized the power of the rosary in bringing peace and conversion in these end times. The rosary is a spiritual weapon that can fortify our souls against the forces of darkness. Attending Mass and receiving the Eucharist as often as possible is crucial. The Eucharist is the source and summit of our faith, providing us with the grace and strength needed to endure these times. Additionally, consider keeping a blessed St. Benedict medal or crucifix in your home and on your person. The St. Benedict medal is known for its power in warding off evil and providing protection against spiritual harm. The crucifix reminds us of Christ's victory over sin and death, serving as a potent symbol of faith and protection. Finally, consecrate yourself and your family to the Sacred Heart of Jesus and the Immaculate Heart of Mary. This act of dedication places you under their special protection and guidance. By following these steps to prepare, we align ourselves with God's divine protection and mercy as we prepare ourselves spiritually for the trials ahead. Let us end with a heartfelt prayer for protection. Join me in seeking God's grace and mercy. Heavenly Father, we come before you at 923 with humble hearts, acknowledging your power and glory. We ask for your divine protection over us, our families, and our communities. Guard us against the forces of evil and the terrors of the end times. Lord Jesus, you are our Savior and Redeemer. We place our trust in you and seek refuge under your sacred wings. Shield us with your precious blood and grant us the strength to remain steadfast in our faith. Holy Spirit, our Comforter and Guide, fill our hearts with courage and wisdom. Help us to discern the signs of the times and to prepare ourselves spiritually for the coming tribulations. Illuminate our minds and strengthen our spirits. Blessed Virgin Mary, our Mother and Intercessor, we turn to you in these dark times. Wrap us in your mantle of love and protection. Intercede for us before the throne of God and obtain for us the graces we need to persevere. We consecrate ourselves to the Sacred Heart of Jesus and the Immaculate Heart of Mary, trusting in their boundless love and protection. Keep us safe from harm and guide us on the path to eternal salvation. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Please like and share this warning with people you know. 
Stay vigilant, stay prayerful, and trust in God's infinite love and protection.